It's May, and wildfire season is already on the minds of State Department of Natural Resources officials who wonder if the season will be worse than last year. Commissioner of Public Lands Hillary Franz joined her DNR Wildlife Aviation Aerial Firefighting staff at the DNR Tumwater Hangar on Tuesday. They talked about how the agency's flight resources are prepared for the 2018 wildfire season. Franz says the state's fire seasons are getting worse. We are, know that our fire seasons are getting longer. They're starting earlier and lasting longer throughout the year. Um, a big key component of us making sure that we uh, manage our fires and keep them small and protect our landscapes and also our communities is to ensure that we're getting on our fires as soon as we can. Our air assets are absolutely critical in us being able to do that. Franz points out that the fire season has already started far earlier than normal. Over two weeks ago, we had a 300 acre fire in Okanagan County. And then just last week, we actually had a fire just south of here of about 20 acres. And it's important that we call that out because that is a fire that is on the west side of our state. Many people believe that our fires are really just in our central and eastern part. But the reality is we have fires throughout our state and we're seeing more and more each year fires breaking out earlier in the season on the west part of our state. So even though we've had a lot of rain and snowpack, uh, we should not uh, feel comfortable that that means we're going to have a, a low or a slow fire season. That's why DNR has boosted the size of its firefighting fleet, which now has nine helicopters, six amphibious single-engine air tankers, and two air attack tanker planes under contract. The DNR has more than 60 personnel dedicated to aviation firefighting for initial air attacks on emerging wildland fires. Last year we were able to keep 96% of our fires below 10 acres because of a number of factors. One being that we got our air assets out early and we're able to keep those fires small. We also pre-positioned our equipment, not only our air assets, but also our other uh, fire facility components um, out on the ground in those areas that were, we knew would be more prone to fire because of forest health conditions and others. And then obviously we uh, would not be as successful without the collaboration and coordination with our federal and local partners. And last year we made sure that we were training our firefighters, all agencies together so that we could be collaborating, coordinating before we even got on the fire. Fire season is normally considered from May 15th to October 15th. Fran says aircraft equipment and teams are staged throughout the state at locations including Olympia, OMAC, Colville, Deer Park, Dallasport, Kelso, Mount Vernon, Ellensburg, and Wenatchee. While they look well maintained, some Bell Huey helicopters in the fleet are 45 years old and have survived bullets and crashes during the Vietnam War. Maintenance costs on nine helicopters in the fleet is $1,400 to $1,600 per flight hour plus fuel. Fran suited up and flew in one of the former military copters for the first time. I think the last time I was on a helicopter was probably, oh yeah, over 20 years ago. The durable helicopters are used to drop more than 200 gallon buckets of water on fires. At the Port of Olympia Airport in Tumwater, I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.